In this video I'm going to talk about the difference between illustration and fine art painting. Now a hundred years ago it was clearly defined what was illustration and what was fine art. Fine art had a kind of deeper truth to it so it was about the artist trying to express something more personal and using a language which had been developed for for thousands of years and this language involved drawing and the perception of reality and then translating that into a work of art and through that translation and through that language you created great paintings which had not only great kind of reality to them and visual truth and emotional truth but they also had a beautiful abstract aspect to them and then in around when photography was invented and especially in the modern media artists started working for magazines and these magazines they needed paintings which were made quickly and the artists used photographs and they copied these these photographs and they created paintings quickly but it was clearly understood that they were illustrations and they're illustrations because they are a kind of product which was made purely for the aspect of illustrating something there is not the subjective kind of expression that there is in fine art painting and also the language is different so they don't use line uh, they don't perceive depth line form and all the beauties which are in which is in contained within figurative, figurative fine art painting and fine art painting itself and we're going to explore this so Norman Rockwell was an American illustrator and he actually studied fine art and he painted from life to begin with but then he started painting from photographs and he is an illustrator and it's clearly known that his work is illustration and when you look at his work now he's one of the best illustrators there has ever been of that type of painting and when you look at his work you can clearly see it is illustration so there's something extremely photographic about it and it's flat it looks flat photographs are flat and they're very much unlike the experience of what i would call fine art painting where you have the model in front of you and then you use drawing and painting to sculpt that reality onto the canvas and so what fine art painting is is a mixture of the two dimensions and the perception of the three dimensions from the artist and this comes from observation or painting from your imagination where you have to use the same language of drawing to convey that onto the painting and it's a completely different language it is, it is not copying flat photos like this and this is illustration at its highest level but it's illustration so it's not about fine art painting has this extra dimension of, as I say, this language, which, which is to do with drawing and perception. And there's a huge difference between that and copying. And also fine art painting, the artist themselves is trying to express some kind of truth. And yes, it's a subjective truth, but that is where the art comes into play. And that is why it is so difficult. And that is why it is not just a commercial product. And that is why it's the most difficult thing that can be done. And that is why I put it at the highest level. Because great painters and artists, fine artists, are rare. You only get... I mean, in the 20th century, it's been probably the worst century for... for great painters but even in the time of the baroque period you had probably around 
20 first class great fine artists. Now, when you, in the past, you had life models in art schools and you would paint um, the life model and as soon as you did you do that you realize that there is a huge difference between illustration and fine art and that fine art and it's it's almost like you can paint a you can copy a photograph extremely well at a young age because it's all flat and it's just copying but when you go into the life room and you start drawing and painting you discover that painting is about a whole different language and it involves your understanding of the three dimensions, your perceptions, the medium, and it is, a, it is an experience. And therefore, it is so difficult to convey. And you have to use painting to actually convey it. And you can see here, this is fine art painting. This is a painting by Velazquez. And you can immediately see the difference in form and structure, space... It has a kind of airiness to it. It is not a flat photographic copying. It is also not there just to create an effect. It has some kind of deeper truth to it. And this is the mystery of fine art. And that's what makes fine art so difficult and so rare. And if we look at other artists, so it can be extremely realistic. But if you look at this, you can clearly see the perception of the head here and the drawing and the depth and the way it feels. It actually feels like you are touching, the artist is touching the form. It is not copying, it is translating. Look at that sleeve. Just look at it in itself. If you looked at that in itself, and that is what creates the abstract beauty. And it is because that it is because of this struggle that since photography photography was has been more widely and widely used in painting, the quality of painting has gone down and down and down because the artist is not perceiving and doesn't have to work hard to perceive nature and his own reality and his own truth. And therefore the beauty that comes across is a lot less and it's just like flat copying. While this is actually translating, this in itself is as abstract and, and as beautiful as anything that could be that can be created. But it is that process of subjective experience, which you do not get through painting from photographs. And painting from photographs, the quality of painting goes down and down and down, and the it has no drawing at all and this is the difference between what fine art is you can feel the form you can feel that it's coming from the artist's own experience it is not copying look at how beautifully translated it is that is what fine art is and that is why it's so difficult and that is why you just can't produce it for uh, magazines like normal Rockwell had to do and a lot of contemporary figurative art is illustration and even Picasso here is more closely related to fine art because he's using drawing and form and all those aspects to create form and perception it is not copying it is translating. And even Matisse, who is not my favourite artist, but he's using the language of fine art. So it is, it is expressive and he's using the lines and the forms and the structure to create a painting. And obviously it's a diff different kind of painting, but it's still the same language. It is still that kind of subjective language of drawing now you have lots of youtubers um, painting and what they're doing they portray themselves as fine art artists and they're not fine art artists they're illustrators and they're illustrators who paint 
in a way which kind of imitates fine art. And this is a painter called Nicholas Uribe, and all his work is done from photographs. And when you look at his work more closely, like it, it looks amazing when you see it, but it's actually a painted photograph. And when you start examining it, it's flat. The whole thing is flat. And then when you start to look at it more closely, you see that the structure of it just completely falls apart. Like if you look at this hand, it has no structure at all. And if you look at this to this, it is completely flat. So this is copying and it's, and it's very appealing to the eye because people think, oh my God, it looks so real. But when you look at it from paintings from the past and you understand what drawing is. So if you look at it from um, paintings from the past and you can see drawing like that and the way the structure works here and the structure of that head. And if you look at the volumes here and the way the volume of that, that body, even though it's just lightly uh, put in with slight brush strokes, you instantly realize that the the nature of the volume of this of this thing of this young girl and as I say, it is a subjective experience that comes from the painter while this is copying it is copying it is illustration. this is what Norman Rockwell did. And this painter is called Nicholas Uribe and he presents a thing called um, Our Painted Lives. And let's compare him to a Lucian Freud painting. And you can clearly see the difference that um, the Lucian Freud painting actually looks much more physical. It looks much more physical and it's much more expressive and it's actually trying to depict the form. So it's like a kind of plasticine. And that is, the, that is the major difference between what is fine art and what is illustration. And most art today is illustration, is this. Is copying from photos. This. It's copying from photos. And it looks, people think it looks amazing. But when you but when you actually look at it closely, it is illustration trying to copy what fine art is, but it doesn't have any volume to it at all, any structure. It does not work as painting. It is no different to a Norman Rockwell painting here. So it's no different to this. It is exactly the same, completely flat. And what you have is you have YouTubers and some of them are even terrible illustrators like um, Dr. Francisco Soriano. He's a terrible illustrator. And uh, at, le at least Nicholas Uribe is a very good illustrator. But it's illustration. And my problem with his channel, Nicholas Uribe's channel, called Our Painted Lives is that okay he's because there is the art market has been destroyed he now has to put himself on YouTube now what what is what, what my problem is with his 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 work is that his work is simplifying painting too much you cannot just turn up to a YouTube video, do a nice painting which looks realistic and think it's great. It, fine art does not work like that. Fine art is the most difficult thing in the world to actually create. And what irritates me about his, his videos is that he has this kind of children's TV presenter style and he has all these toys, so he's trying to be trendy, and he paints these images, these kind of photographic, illustrative images, which kind of, because he's done a little bit of fine art training himself and taught fine art, 
he knows how to adjust it a little bit so that it gives it the appearance of fine art when it's not. It's mock fine art. And every day he does a painting on a small scale and, and it's like, that is not what fine art painting is. Fine art painting is the most difficult subjective um, experience to do with drawing, painting, and the most difficult aspect of it is actually that it comes from your own individual perception of reality. And you're trying to express some kind of truth through the language of painting. So, it's a difficult subject to talk about, but I hope I've tried to explain it a bit more. And what is the difference between illustration and fine art? Thank you.